All right, boys and girls, you ready? Solve by completing the square. Alexis, you look really excited about this one. Yeah? How many guys, like, didn't remember how to do that at all? How many guys figured it out eventually? Yeah? Okay. So, because the instructions say to complete the square, you have to. You have to show your work. So this one's 2x squared minus 3x minus 3 equals 0. If it didn't say to solve, if it didn't say this part right here by completing the square, you could maybe factor, you could maybe use, you could always use the quadratic formula when it's quadratic, right? But it says completing the square, so you have to use that method. The method is graded. First step, you got to take this number and move it to the other side, right? Right? Yeah, yeah. So 2x squared minus 3x equals 3. And you leave space, remember? Oh, yeah. Yeah, boy. Okay. Now, we're going to solve by completing the square. So see how that number right there, the coefficient, is 2. It's not 1. So we've got to make that 1. So we're going to divide everything by 2. Now it's weird, if we were just changing to vertex form, we wouldn't divide everything by 2 the same way. We'd factor out the 2, remember? But, alright, so x squared minus 3 over 2, x equals 3 over 2. All good so far? Alright, now the tricky part. To make this a perfect square, just this side on that, this part right here, this is what we're going to make a perfect square over here. To make it a perfect square, remember you take half of b and square it and add it. And b is, here b is negative 3 over 2, right? So we have to take half of that, which would be, do you see what I mean? Half of b would be 3 over 4, yeah? Remember this, Felipe? So negative, and, and remember, you actually don't write it as squared because your next step is to factor. Like, you don't actually square it, you write it like this. Your next step is to factor, anyway. But over here we can. So we have to add it, that's 9 sixteenths. Is that good? If I remember right on Friday, a lot of people added these two together and then squared, and that made me very sad, Panda. Did I mess up? Am I doing good? Yeah? All right. Next step is the factor, and it's minus 3 fourths squared. Every time, this goes right there. Easy. Over here, you got to get a common denominator. It's going to be 16, right? So this will be 12 over, oh wait, no, no, 8, right? So 24 over 16. Is that right? Why is it you guys are okay with the factoring, and then I do fifth grade math, and I get eyebrows raised? Why is that? What's wrong with you guys? Like, really, I factor this, and you're like, okay, that's cool, I got that. And then I get a common denominator of 16, and everybody's like, hmm? Wait a minute. Back the truck up. You just multiply it by 8 over 8, right? Common denominator of 16. So, is that 33 over 16? Is that good? It's funny. That's funny, Danny. Right? It's funny. It's like, yeah, I don't know. Okay. What's next, Leslie? Well, we're going to have to solve, right? It says solve. How do you know when you're done solving? How do you know when you're done solving? Yes, Lauren? Well, that's how you know if you got it right. But how do you know you're done? How do you know you solved it? What's up, Jose? When x is all by itself and everything is simplified. That's right. So when we get x by itself and it's all alone and it's simplified. What right now, right now, what is keeping x from being by itself? Tell me. Go ahead. Just say it out loud. What is it? What is keeping x from being by itself right now? The square is keeping it from being by itself. And what else? The minus 3 fourths. Those two things are keeping x from being by itself. Does it matter which one we get rid of first? Absolutely, because we have to use order of operations. Right? 
So which one goes first, George? Square root. Square root. Wait, what square root? I don't see a square root. The square. The square. And the way we get rid of that is the square root. So a square root of both sides. X minus 3 fourths equals the square root of 33 over 4. Holy moly guacamole, where did I get that square root of, wait, where did I get that 4? Square, square root of 16. Now Bridget, make sure that, uh, make sure that it doesn't look like this. This would be bad. That is not written correctly. This is bad. It's like, it's like Zika virus, bad. Okay, you don't want that. You don't want that. This is good. That's bad. This means the square root of three four, 33 fourths. This is the square root of 33 divided by the number 4. Number 4 is that many, right? It's 4. That number is irrational, square root of 33. Can't write it. So. And last step, add 3 fourths, right? And remember, there's two answers. There's a positive and a negative of the square root. And that's it. It doesn't say to round it or anything. It doesn't, yeah, it just said solve, so there you go, solve. Two answers. Preguntas? Who's got a question? Anybody got a question? <laughs>